Hello and welcome. I want to dedicate this video to the um, Lockwood Asa Abloy padlock that I received from Joshua. So Joshua, thank you very much for this really great lock. It's it's very very heavy. I think it's all solid steel, and it has a closed shackle. So you need to to turn the shackle in order to secure something so it doesn't go out all the way. And it has a really nice surface. So the finish I, I like very much. So you can probably see some some reflections here from that surface. And yeah, let's close it and I will pick it for you. I think if I recall correctly it has only spool pins as drivers. But it picks very interestingly. And I have to apologize because I forgot to take along the key. But I will show you the key later on when I disassemble that lock. So let's start picking. Apply tension here. And... Touch pin 1 and it turned a little bit. Touch pin 2 and it got an even deeper false set and already a counter rotation. Maybe we can set pin 2 already, I think, yes, we set it. So, again, pin 1 is, pin one is stiff, pin 2 is also set, or has given me feedback again. Okay, now it's set. Pin 3 is now giving me also feedback. Set it. Pin 4. Good feedback. Set it. Now pin 5. Okay, and here we are. It's open. Alright, so that was the picking part of the um, Lockwood as the Abloy padlock. Thank you very much for watching and hold on because now comes the gutting part. Okay, back home. Um, here's the key. Uh, some ups and downs. Very nice shape here, I like that. Um, of course the lock works with the key. So let's uh, open it up. Okay. Okay, let's try it that way. Okay. Here we have the plug. Only uh, five pins, but six holes. So we could probably upgrade this lock. Put this aside. Okay, here's my pinning tree. So, what was the f pin one side? Okay, let's assume that this is pin the, the, the pin one. Another spool. These are really shell spools.
not a spool, so all spools. And the fifth is also a spool. Dump out the, the springs. Check the plug. Uh, check the the Bible. Uh, nothing special here. Oops, pardon. Dump out the key pins. I think these are also solid steel pins. That one goes here. Okay, here we are. So, let me zoom in. I can get a close up view to the pins. You can see the key pins um, are all normal and the drivers are very uh, shell spools. Okay, so much for that luck. Thank you very much for watching. Happy picking. Bye bye. That's a quick addendum to the pinning situation of the lock. I added the key pins and the driver pins to the chambers of the plug and uh, that's the key for for comparison. What is interesting um, is that pin pin three here is so so deeply inside the inside the the chamber that it acts like a gatekeeper. It acts like a standard pin because it prevents the plug from rotation um, by its its thick end, and you need to pick it. A little bit until it reaches the the spool part here, and in contrast to that, um, pin one and pin five um, are very much looking outside, so you need to uh, pick it only a little bit until it reaches the shear line, as you can see. And when I picked this lock, I probably uh, touched pin pin three by accident, so then. I, I could pick it like a, like a normal spool. Alright, so much for that lock. The lockwood lock. Thank you very much. Happy picking. Bye bye.